we are staying with breaking news. UW is hiring former Wazoo athletic director Pat Chun. It is, according to Pete Thamel, a six-year deal with Washington for Chun. So Washington at one point looking for an athletic director to replace the departed Troy Dannon who goes to Nebraska. They hire Chun. Now Washington State looking for a director of their own. Bump, how do you feel about the news? Oh, man, this one, this one hurts, man. It hurts. But, again, you got to live in reality. As soon as that UW job came open, I uh, pondered if Pat would uh, put his name in the hat. And, and, obviously, UW is going after a guy who has um, helped our athletic program reach some new heights, man. He's played a big role in the basketball program, the football program. Uh, obviously, the most successful program we have with our honest art is our rowing program, believe it or not. This one hurts, man. I talked to him yesterday. I got no indication that that was going to happen. Obviously, he's not going to tell me, hey, bump. You know, oh, word, by the way, know, by one the way, last thing. I'm dipping tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But, uh, no, nah, this one hurts, man. You you guys are getting a guy who, um, who is going to just embrace the UW culture. He's going to try to take it to another level. He's going to be at every event he can be at. He is a guy that's easy to talk to. Um, he's an innovator. He's a good dude. I mean, he's a good dude, right? The the Coog in me hates this move, but then again, you got to realize this is business. UW is a step up. I'm sure they're paying him more money. Um, he's got way more resources. Uh, this one, this one hurts, Pat man. But I appreciate you, man. Coogs, fill your fills, drink your drink. You know, let's pull one up mm-hmm. for the for the homie that's gone. But this this one hurts a bit. I interrupted your fourth down uh, about D Eskridge with the news. The two five three. Oh man, I really wanted to hear about D Eskridge. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can get back to it. But um, yeah, I as a uh, UW alum, I like the move. I uh, think that the football program uh, has been in a good place. Obviously, they'd always like to be better, but uh, Jake Dickert is a good dude who cares about those guys. And um, I think, uh, obviously, you know, Kyle Smith moving on was a great hire for that program. I think Pat Chun very much valued a sense of community with Washington mm-hmm. State and building that up with coaches. Um, so I like the hire. I like the move. I am empathetic for Washington State fans who, along with UW, are just trading the feelings back and forth of coaches departing, athletic directors departing. It's a very weird time for college sports. Yeah, it is. This is the, I mean, this is what it is now. This is what it is. Um, I think UW is safe as far as Pat being there for the duration of his contract because I feel like he's taking on a challenge. You're going to a new conference. Logistically, there's some things that you have to work out, the NIL, all that stuff, right? I think um, you guys are safe when it comes to Pat being there for a while. I think this is a a challenge that's going to take the full contract to kind of reap the benefits mm-hmm. of getting a guy yeah. like Pat. Um, as far as WSU, I mean, you got to go find find your next guy or next girl who, who's going to be here for at least three to four years. And I think that's the way you got to start looking at these things. You get a, If you get a coach to stay for two to three, that's a win. You get an 80 to stay from three to four, that's a win right there. It's just uh, the climate of this thing, man. A lot of people are going in on Pat right now, calling him a traitor and all that. You do the same thing. Mm-hmm. If you were presented more money, better opportunity, you're on the west side, um, easier to get, get to places. I mean, my man is from the Midwest. Uh, the UW is going to be playing in the Midwest. Again, the same way I looked at Kyle Smith and the moves that he made to go to Stanford, it made sense for him and his family. And this one makes sense for Pat and his family. I thought that uh, Ohio State was going to be uh, looking at Pat because he did go to Ohio State. His daughter goes there, I believe. And he has connections there. But it's just what it is, mm-hmm. ma'am. This is what it is. College sports. People be moving. I know. I know people don't want to hear it. I know that I'm biased, but I think it was the right move for Pat. I think it's a good move for Pat. And I'm very curious to see what he does for UW. It's in a very interesting spot as a as a school, entering uh, a conference that's good for its status overall, but taking only uh, a portion of that conference payout, obviously. And then, um, obviously, they're dealing with, you know, a brand new men's basketball coach, a brand new football coach, and trying to rebuild that team. It's a fascinating place to be in for Washington. You need someone who's ready, like you said, for that challenge. Um, I wanted to continue to focus on just kind of, you know, we both talked about how we liked the move or at least how we understood the move. Now we were talking about the way college sports are now from the 206. This is why as a Coug fan, I don't get invested in college sports anymore. It's sad. That in itself is such a bummer to me. Like, I understand that college sports, the landscape has changed, and it feels harder to get attached to anyone, coaches, players, anything. 
But college sports, what has always made it different to me is that kind of diehard passion that, yeah, NFL fans have for their team. But it's different. It's a different flavor. Well, it's never been that way for coaches and admin. No. For the players, it's been, okay, sure. you're going to be here for five years. And moves like this happen all the time. I mean, head coaches leave, ADs leave. It just it stings a bit more now because – now you're compounding the situation with the athletes being able to leave. Mm -hmm. So I understand you're feeling about college sports not being the same um, because it isn't. It will never be the same. Maybe it'll, it'll get tweaked a little bit with some regulation. This is just what it is. So don't don't cheer for the name on the on the back of the jersey. Cheer for the name on the front of the jersey. And that's what I'll continue to do. Even though this hurts, I will still rep my uh, crimson and gray loud and proud. I'll still do anything I can to help out this university. But you do that knowing that the relationships you have or the people in position of power and the guys on the on the fields or the girls on the courts or whatnot, that's going to change. So forget investing your emotions into the players and just do it for the university. It's it's a tough time to be a Coug right now mm -hmm. because we are the ones that are going to get hit like this a bit more consistently than the bigger names. Even a uh, university like UW, they've been hit a couple of times, but they also got hit because they made it to the national championship game. They didn't make it to the national championship game. Kalen DeBoer would be here. Yeah. So it, circumstances are different, man. It's unfortunate. Um, just uh, Wazoo, put me on that hiring committee when it comes to this next AD, man. Holla at me. 253 says money talks, and money is part of it. I mean, Kalen DeBoer got paid more money to go to Alabama over Washington. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing Jed Fish got paid more money going to Washington over Arizona. I don't know the details of Pat Chun's contract, but I would assume that there is more money. I'm assuming there is sure. more money for Kyle Smith going to Stanford over staying at Washington State. Money is part of that. But so, too, is opportunity, prestige, and career goals that, that these people have. The, the challenge for Washington State and Washington to different degrees will be, well, how do we make ourselves as a program, as an institution, a place that can draw that in? Because there, if you can't raise the same amount of money as some SEC powerhouse uh, or, you know, a school with a ton of booster money, all right, well, that's your challenge. But then how do you make yourself the destination? Who do you go after to try to stay there? Do you find someone local? Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, you know, find someone who played at the school? Do you, you know, find someone with connections? Do you try to make the most of a great season, a trip to March Madness, get back there and suddenly look like a really promising young team? I mean, how do you make yourself that destination is the challenge these programs will have. Location has a huge deal to do with it, especially when you're comparing Pullman to Seattle. Location is big. What we can do as Cougs, May 17th, I'm co-hosting – a collective event for our athletic program. What we need to do is show up in Spokane on May 17th and open up them wallets, get that bank account rolling, and put money in these athletes' pockets so we know that we have a chance of keeping these guys here, man. That's what it is because money does talk. And there's some money out there for WSU. Is there enough money uh, to compete with, with the, the higher-ups? Probably not, but there might be enough to keep a kid or two that's um, – you weren't expecting or we weren't expecting to keep. So just come together, Cougs. Don't hate on Pat too much. Feel your feels. Get it all out. But, man, you understand what it is. It's a business. And if you look at it that way, then we'll show up on May 17th in Spoke Compton and get it done. <laughs> Spoke Compton. Uh, yeah, I know that there are some people that feel kind of uh, defeated uh, about their school for whatever reason. Like, I love the hiring of Pat Chan. I... I felt so defeated after Kalen DeBoer and a million and five players left a football program that I, I had never seen a team that good in my viewing experience. Yep. Yep. And that I mean, was it, defeating. Like it, everyone feels that defeated feeling. I'm sure Coug fans feel that. It's right a, now. And honestly, it hurts. It's a compliment as well. You don't want it RAD mm -hmm. and paid them for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Good for you, Pat. It's a good way to look at it. Anyways, uh, just fascinating news. Again, uh, UW hiring former Wazoo Athletic Director Pat Chun.